Hello! Today I will be sharing with you a valuable life lesson that I have learned from watching a scene from the Avatar The Last Airbender. Now if you are always depressed or always a negative person, maybe you've been focusing on the wrong things. Maybe it is time for you to focus on the positive things of life. In today's scene I have learned the, the life lesson I had in today's scene I have learned to, to focus on the good things, to be an optimist, to be positive about life, and to be grateful, to focus on the good things. Excuse me. Now, now I'm going to be sharing with you the scene from which I have learned this lesson from. Let's get to it. Yep, yep. That's impossible. Do I look like a 112 year old man to you? Think about it. The war is a century old. You don't know about it because... Somehow, you were in there that whole time. It's the only explanation. A hundred years. I can't believe it. I'm sorry, Aang. Maybe somehow there's a bright side to all this. I did get to meet you. Alright, if you haven't watched the Avatar, The Last Airbender, Episode 1, Book 1, Chapter 1. Huh? Book 1, Chapter 1. The Boy in the Iceberg. If you haven't watched the episode, I'm going to be giving out spoilers. So in the scene that I shared with you, what is going on is that Aang doesn't believe that there is a war going on. Aang, and the reason why he doesn't believe it is because he has been trapped in the iceberg for, I believe, uh, 50 years or 100. I know, right? Gotta, gotta get the info. And he he tells Katara. Katara is a is a lady. Katara is a is his friend, the young woman, that is besides Ang, the Avatar, the last Airbender. He doesn't believe Katara and tells him that is not possible. Do I look a hundred years old to you? And Katara says, well, maybe the reason why is be you're still young is because you were trapped in the iceberg. And and so then Ang gets becomes a little sad he gets a little depressed because he didn't he never thought there was a war going on or he didn't think so much happened while he was gone so he sits down and he he lays against the wall and then Katara tells Aang that there's maybe a, there's maybe a good reason for all of this there's maybe a good reason for all of this they say you shouldn't review your notes but I'm gonna do it anyways Maybe, Katara says, maybe somehow there is a bright side to all of this. Maybe there is a bright side to all of this. And Ang replies by saying, well, I did get to meet you. Wow. I know, right? There's a war going on. <laughs> and you might say, I haven't experienced a war. And, you know, it is not something I would like to experience. And I really... You know, I, we we should strive. I believe we should strive to prevent wars and avoid them as much as possible. Because from from what I read or from what I've seen and experienced from other people's writings, it is not a beautiful thing. But they say, but they're they're optimistic, you know. They're optimistic, and why wouldn't you want to be optimistic? If you, I believe that if you're not optimistic about the future, then you will probably perish in the ne in the negative that is going on. So I believe in order to strive in difficult times, you have to be optimistic. You have to have a positive view in life. You have to create a future for you. You have to dream and visualize a better future for yourself. Create it. There's a quote from Jim Rohn that says, without, without dreams we perish. Without dreams we perish. Without dreams we die. And what I believe, that this, I believe the message that the, the writers of the Avatar The Last Ever in There are trying to share with us is to maintain a positive mind, to be optimistic about our lives, to focus on the good and everything we believe is to be bad, to focus on the good in our daily lives and that is the only way we are going to strive for the future to strive to create something good because if you do not if you believe you do not have a better future for yourself 
I believe you will not have your energy. You would give up. And you will give up not only on yourself, but on those that you love. And I, and I know you wouldn't want to give up on them. And I know you want to rise above and, ins and, give, and show them the example that there is a better future. Show them that, that there is a reason to keep on fighting. There is a reason to keep on going. Another good, another thing you could do is remember the good old, remember the, the past, you know, to stay positive. But don't just stay in the past, create the future, create a better future, you know, create, create a future for you that is going to bring excitement, create a future that is going to bring happiness, warmth. And this is what I believe the message that, that the writers are trying to share with us, to stay optimistic, to focus on the good in things. To be grateful, to focus. If there is something bad or negative that is that you believe that is bad or negative, look for something good. Look for two things that are good. That two things that are good. For what? Let's say you get in a car accident, and you're just like no one. No one gets hurt. This is one example, and you're like, man, oh man, I have to pay these bills, and you don't have insurance, and etc. and etc. Well, you could just focus on that, but let's focus on the good two goods you are going to figure out a way to make more money maybe in, in, maybe figure out a way to to improve your income to gain more income to produce more profits and you never know if your insurance provides you if you have insurance if uh, we forgot no insurance you end up you never know if you have a bucket like a car that is useless no and you just you didn't like it anyways, and now you have more money because you figure out a way to gain more money, and now you have a better car, a car that you like to drive. So those are two things you could consider to be positive about something that you might think is negative. That's a, that, that's an, that could be an example. Now I'm going to share with you a quote from Dr. Ellsworth. Ellsworth, from Dr. Ellsworth. Dr. Ellsworth was a hundred was a vegan who surpassed 100 years of age. Rest in peace, he passed away at age 104. Now a lot of people ask Dr. Ellsworth what was his, what does he believe led to his, what does he believe led to his, long, his longevity in life? What does he believe that made him last all these years? And he says that it's not just his diet, but it is his lifestyle. He he believed he believed that a lifestyle is of great importance, and his lifestyle, his philosophy for life, well, in his words, were well. I think one has to focus. Well, I think one has to have a good mental attitude. Well, I think one has to have a good mental attitude. I think that's, I think that's high on the list. I think you got to look at the positive things. There's the negative things of life, then there's the positive things. And you've got to concentrate on the positives. I'm going to repeat it because I know I messed up. Well, I think one has to have a good mental attitude. I think that's high on the list. I think you got, you've got you got to look at the positive things. There's the negatives of, of, there's the negative things of life, and then there's the positives. You've got to concentrate on the positives. So that was his philosophy. He believed that not only does it require an, a diet or a lifestyle, a daily exercise, but having a good philosophy, focusing on the good in things, focusing only on the good and, you know, staying positive. Because did you know that by being negative or being stressed out or being sad decreases your immune system? And when you're happy, it boosts your immune system? You know, so it's not only just a connection with your mind, but also of your health. By staying positive, you improve your health, you get your immune system running. So you know what, I feel like it's not just a way of looking at the world, but you know, it's something that it is meant to be. If you want, it's not only just to be optimist, you know, optimistic. It's about having your health and staying in a positive, calm, having a positive, calm mind. Not just for yourself, but you know, for your, the people who surround you. You don't want to. I believe you do not. You will not like to 
make other people sad, I believe you would like to rise them up, raise them up, inspire them, motivate them, you know, get them going, cheer them up, you know. I believe you would not like to see your your family, your people, your friends down. I know you would like to see them in a happy, positive vibe. So that is so if you're going if you if you if you notice that you're maybe sad all the time or upset or frustrated, you know, maybe start focusing on the good things. And another thing that may help you a lot as it has helped me is to focus on having more practice gratitude, practice being thankful for the things you have in life. There are many successful entrepreneurs out there that say that you should wake up in the morning and list like one through ten things you are grateful of waking up, things you're grateful of the moment, things that are, you are really important for you, things that you never had before and you now have, be grateful for those things. And uh, I know Tony Robbins, the motivational speaker, author of books, he says that, he says that, and Jim Rohn says to practice gratitude as well, because when you, when you practice gratitude, you focus more on the good. And and you end up having more because by practicing gratitude, you end up you you automatically subconsciously start focusing on other good things of your life. He says, in in pursuit of what you want to have, be happy for what you already have. Those are that's not his quote, but I, I rephrase it in my own words. Now I truly believe. You should stay optimistic and grateful because, like I said before, you want to raise your people up and yourself, remain healthy and strong, you know, for 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 the ones you love. And it is an important, I believe it is really important because everybody has value, everybody has power. Don't think that, just don't, don't think that you have no power, you know, everybody... Everybody influences somebody. Everybody's energy is strong. You know, don't think you are not powerful. There are other powerful people out there, but you also inflict energy. It is it is impossible for you not to make to not spread energy. It is something of life that occurs naturally. Everybody spreads energy to something to somehow. You know? If if I if I spread a good positive energy to one person, that person can spread it to her her brother in the house, and then her brother goes to Facebook, presses po- positivity there. Now it's reaching populations, and you got a whole connection. You got a network. You know you got something that goes on and continues. Now before I end this video, I am going to share with you another quote from Alphonse Carr, one of my favorite quotes. He says. Some people grumble that roses have thorns. I am grateful that thorns have roses. Some people grumble that roses have thorns. I am grateful that thorns have roses. Now, before I end this video, <laughs> I would like to ask you to please share with us what did you think the scene meant for you? Or what did the scene meant for you? Or what do you think was the actual meaning? of the video. I am really I am highly interested in knowing what are your thoughts. Maybe my point of view or my perspective is wrong and I am I am really cons I really want to know I'm considerate and to know your thoughts and what you believe it means to you or if we have a similar view to the meaning. Lastly, if you found this video useful please share with somebody that might benefit from it. If you feel like you can help somebody by sharing this video, please do so. This is why I created why I create these videos to help people and to spread the message that you can learn a lesson from every story you watch, that you can learn a lesson from the movies, cartoons, books you watch. This is a purpose. This is one of the reasons why I created these videos to share the message, to spread awareness that you can learn from every story. That there's always messages out there to help us that we can apply in our daily lives to improve our lifestyles, ourselves as beings, and the life of others. Gracias and thank you.